Hey everybody, it's Liz from Northern Bow Farms. Um, today is the day to butcher the roosters. <sighs> oh. Um, it is close to freezing. When I first walked out here, you could see my breath. Um, but I've been setting up and getting ready. And um, we have eight roosters. Uh, they're regular heritage breed barn mix roosters from uh, chicks we had this spring that nobody wanted. We end up butchering whatever we have left over from spring chick sales. So, it tastes different than chicken. It actually tastes closer to turkey, I think. It's chilly. My fingertips are frozen. We prefer to do it in the cold because once you butcher, you want the meat to cool down um, as fast as it can so it doesn't spoil. So, it's like working in a refrigerator, you know, if it's 32 degrees, probably like 35 degrees right now. We're not going to show you the process because there's plenty of videos out there of people who do show um, how they do it. And they're really good videos on how to learn. That's how we learned originally was from a video. Um, I'll have to see if I can find it and link it below on the one that we learned from. Um, we do do it a little bit differently though, so I thought I'd show you our setup, I guess. Um... I covered our workstation in this um, dollar store vinyl tablecloth. Um, we'll probably start on that side, uh, defeathering and something. I got to get a cardboard box to lay down um, and throw the feathers into because that's a gross, sticky mess. We don't have um, a plucker. I hope to get one. We want to do meat birds in the spring, so I want to get a plucker, um, but we'd have to sell them for it to even make sense for us to get a plucker. It's just not worth the $600 if we don't. Um, so we hand pluck right now. These are my tools. Um, we have small knives for cutting sections, um, like the trachea and uh, the skin around where you need to pull the intestines out. Um, this is for sectioning if we need to take any of the actual cuts of meat off. And then this, my dad forged me this knife. This is our chicken chopper. It's really heavy and really sharp. I keep it inside, oiled in a drawer, in its sheath. Um, that needs to come over here. We're starting a fire in this half cut 55-gallon um, drum. Um, this is going to be our scalding pot. So what usually happens is I will come over here <clears throat> and I will grab one of these roosters and I will hold it upside down for a few minutes, probably two, three, four, five minutes and talk to Chris until it com it's really calm. And then I will hand it to Chris. Um, we used to use this stump, but it started rotting and um, the knife kind of just mushes into it now, so that was a bad experience one day. Um, we now use this board with the nails. Uh, we quickly lay its head down on one side of the nails, pull the body through so that the neck's long and tight, and then chop real quick. Um, then he will hand the rooster back to me, and we will wrap it um, after its nerves are done doing what they're going to do. We'll wrap its leg with a piece of wire, and we'll hang it there, and I'll get the next one. And we'll keep doing that. Sometimes one of us will grab, we'll each grab one and hold them for a bit until we get ready to chop and then hang. <clears throat> Once they're hung for about five minutes or so, and we're sure they're drained, we bring them over here to the scalding pot. When it's nice and hot, we'll dip them around, dunk them in. Bring them over here. We're going to have a cardboard box. Hand pick their feathers out. This is the longest part. It takes about 20 to 40 minutes depending on the age of the bird and whatnot. <coughs> um, take their insides out. Put them in the box. And then we'll come over here and section up any if we're going to um, change them. I don't really think we're going to do much of uh, sectioning it out. I think we're going to make a lot of bone broth and have to cook rooster in a crock pot with like submerged or a slow cooker or something with like lots of liquid. Um, the meat is kind of like rubber bands if you don't. Same morning. 
Good morning, Basil. She said, because her brother has to help get wood. And she wants him to jump on the trampoline. He'll jump on the trampoline in a minute, okay? Let him help get wood. Um, rooster has to be submerged or its meat gets rubber band and tuft and chewy and you can't really eat it any other way. So what we usually do is we throw them in a stock pot with carrots and onions and garlic and parsley and um, <clears throat> celery and celery leaves and seasoning and spices and salt um, and then we'll boil it until the meat falls off. Um, I'll usually scoop out some meat then. And then set it aside and keep boiling the um, bones for 8 to 12 hours. But if anybody's interested in the actual recipe, um, I can make a video of that when we do it. Also, um, after you butcher, you can't eat right away. Like if we butcher them now, we can't really eat them tonight. Um, because rigor mortis makes the muscles tense up and it makes it really tough. So you're supposed to wait at least 24, if not 48 or 72 hours makes it better for eating. So I won't be making the um, uh, chicken stock bone broth soup um, base until later on this week. So if you guys actually want the recipe, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on that. Um, our next video is probably going to be on... The mushrooms, uh, they're doing super awesome. All the mycelium's growing in every jar, so I gotta get the substrate going and I gotta sterilize the substrate. We're gonna do a cold water pasteurization method, which we use hydrated lime, which is actually a calcium. So our next video will probably be on that. Um, but I will have this chicken butchering video and then a greenhouse video, which I meant to do days ago, but I still haven't had a chance to get a moment to myself. So. Um, and every time I do, it's completely dark and I wouldn't be able to make a video anyway. So I may have to just make it um, inside instead of in the greenhouse where I wanted to make it. But we'll see. Maybe I get a chance today or tomorrow or see that's how it goes. And then I keep saying the next day. And... Okay, but um, we got to get to this. My hands are chilly. So I'll let you go. Talk to you guys next time. Don't conform. Be transformed.